China's latest stealth jet, the J-36, is rewriting the rules of advanced aviation. Instead of choosing between cutting-edge design or large-scale production, this aircraft aims to deliver both. With its massive frame, futuristic stealth shaping, and the promise of being built in numbers the world hasn't seen, the J-36 challenges traditional thinking. Today, we uncover what makes it so special and why it matters for the future of the skies. The J-36 is immediately striking because of its physical presence. At over 50 metric tons maximum takeoff weight, this aircraft is closer to a bomber than a traditional fighter in size, but it still retains the agility and versatility expected of a multi-role combat system. Its tailless double delta wing and blended flying wing structure signal strong optimization for stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. The absence of vertical stabilizers reduces radar reflection, giving the aircraft a much lower observable profile from most angles. Unlike earlier fifth-generation designs, the J-36 appears to emphasize range, payload, and endurance over close-in maneuverability. Analysts note that while it may not match an F-22 in a turning contest, it makes up for that with extended reach, heavy weapon carriage, and the ability to serve as a command and control node in the sky. This shift suggests the J-36 is not designed as a dogfighter, but as a platform for long-range missions, multi-role adaptability, and integration with other systems. One of its most eye-catching features is the side-by-side -side cockpit arrangement. This design choice slightly reduces stealth, but allows more room for avionics, mission systems, and even command functions. A two-pilot crew, working collaboratively, can manage sensor fusion, drone coordination, and advanced electronic systems more effectively than a single pilot. This points toward a role where the J-36 could act as a mission commander aircraft, guiding other fighters, drones, or even larger strike elements. Engine choice will be crucial. Reports suggest the J-36 may use advanced turbofans derived from the WS-10 or WS-15, engines capable of sustained supersonic flight without afterburners, known as supercruise. If accurate, this gives the aircraft both speed and fuel efficiency, extending its operational radius. Combined with large internal bays that separate weapons compartments, the J-36 balances stealth with heavy payload capacity, allowing it to strike targets while remaining less dependent on external stores. What makes the J-36 particularly noteworthy is not just its design, but the strategy behind its production. For decades, American air power has relied on building smaller fleets of exceptionally advanced jets. Aircraft like the F-22, F-35, and the upcoming F-47. These planes are technological masterpieces, but they are also extremely expensive and slow to produce. The F-47, for example, is expected to cost more than $300 million per unit, making it the most expensive fighter jet ever conceived. That price virtually guarantees small production runs. China, on the other hand, appears to be taking a very different approach. The J-36 has been designed not as a boutique system, but as a platform that can be produced in large numbers. Evidence for this comes from the lessons learned with the J-20 stealth fighter. A decade ago, many observers doubted that China could mass-produce fifth-generation aircraft. Today, with more than 200 J-20s already flying in plans for over 800 units by 2030, those doubts have been erased. That production capacity now serves as a springboard for scaling the J-36. The difference between boutique and scalable approaches is critical. A fleet of highly advanced but numerically small aircraft can be outmatched if faced with a larger, good enough alternative that is still competitive technologically. The J-36 reflects a calculation that advanced stealth, networked sensors, and extended range, when multiplied by volume, create an advantage that pure quality alone cannot guarantee. In other words, it is designed to be both capable and abundant. Industrial capability is at the heart of this strategy. Breakthroughs in turbine manufacturing, composite materials, and modular avionics mean the J-36 can be built more efficiently. Reports even suggest that early prototypes carry serial markings indicating pre-production readiness, hence that the industrial pipeline for this aircraft is already forming.
The emphasis on modular systems also means faster upgrades, reducing delays that typically slow advanced programs. Historically, this dual focus on quality and quantity echoes the long-standing principle that numbers matter as much as technology. As military theorist Karl von Clausewitz put it, superiority of numbers is the most common element in victory. So what does a large fleet of J-36 actually mean in practice? The implications are far-reaching, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. With its heavy fuel load and efficient design, the J-36 can project power far into the second island chain, potentially operating from mainland bases and reaching targets across vast stretches of the Pacific. Unlike smaller fighters that depend heavily on aerial refueling, the J-36's endurance reduces reliance on support aircraft like tankers, which are often the most vulnerable elements in an aerial operation. Equally important is its role as a multi-domain coordinator. With two crew members managing advanced sensors and data systems, the J-36 can act as a hub for drones and other aircraft. This concept of manned unmanned teaming is already central to future air power strategies. A fleet of J-36S, each guiding a network of unmanned systems, could dramatically multiply operational reach and effectiveness while reducing exposure for human pilots in smaller, lighter aircraft. The scale of production further changes the strategic balance. A few dozen highly advanced jets might dominate in individual contests, but they can be stretched thin across a wide theater. Hundreds of J-36S, however, could be distributed across multiple regions, providing persistence and flexibility. In scenarios where rapid reinforcement is required, the sheer availability of aircraft may shape outcomes before advanced capabilities can even be fully brought to bear. Another consequence lies in the potential for targeting high-value support systems. Long-range stealth aircraft are not primarily designed for close combat, but rather for disabling key nodes such as early warning aircraft, communication relays, and refueling assets. By threatening these enablers, J-36 formations could disrupt entire networks of opposing air power. Finally, there is the industrial comparison. The U.S. has long relied on its ability to out-engineer competitors, but its production capacity has slowed dramatically compared to Cold War levels. If China can field the J-36 in numbers approaching projections, the balance will not hinge on whether individual aircraft are slightly superior in design, but whether enough are available to cover vast regions and sustain operations over time. In this sense, the J-36 is more than just an aircraft. It is the embodiment of a strategy that places production capacity on equal footing with cutting-edge technology. The J-36 shows us that the future of air power isn't just about sleek designs or futuristic technology. It's about pairing those innovations with large-scale production. By blending advanced stealth, extended reach, and networked capabilities with the ability to build in volume, China has charted a new course. Whether this strategy will succeed is still unfolding, but one thing is certain, the contest for air superiority is no longer just in the skies, it's in the factories. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.